Today I'm going to show you how you can sing with more volume. Hi and welcome to today's video. In case you don't know me yet, my name is Freya Casey. I'm a professional singer and vocal coach from Germany. If you happen to have a voice that is not naturally loud, do not worry. It's not really about how loud you can sing, it's about the perceived volume. What you can do is actually add volume to your voice by creating more space. So I brought this little funnel that I use in my kitchen normally. And um, just to show you how the sound changes by just adding this space to the sound waves that come out. It kind of bundles them together and it just creates a bigger space then will distribute the sound waves into the space that I'm singing into, which is this room here. So I'm just gonna sing a tone. It's gonna be like, So I hope you could hear that the sound changed. This really gave it more direction. And when you think back in time, you know, when they had those gramophones, it, there was no electricity involved. So no electric amplification. What happened was just this horn or this funnel that was just attached to the device made it to be amplified. And you can do the same with your vocal cords. Um, your vocal cords will just produce the sound, but to add to that to where you can actually sound more voluminous, you can create space by number one, just adjusting your larynx position. So if the larynx is really, really high, the resonance also, it, it like the space is not as long. That means it sounds just a little brighter and a little bit more narrow versus when you have a lower larynx, which naturally happens when you sing a little bit higher. And the higher you sing, the more elongated this space down here is. You can feel this also. I recently talked about the larynx. Um, the video link is below in case you wanna watch that video about the larynx position and how that affects the sound of your voice. But that is one way to create more space. So let me just demonstrate. When I sing la 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 la, very high larynx. Um, it gives a very specific sound, but what it does not do is add more volume. However, when I go la 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 la, it does add a little bit more volume by creating more space. The second piece of the equation is really what is going on in your pharyngeal space and inside of your mouth. So basically your mouth can create a space that is either smaller or larger. Of course, when we sing an open ah, we have the opportunity to create the largest space and you need a baseline opening of the jaw. Any more than that is not necessary, but any less than, let's say this, any less than this, you can't really create space on the inside because there's no opening, there's nowhere to go. On the other hand, opening the jaw beyond a specific position is not really gonna help you to create more space on the inside because all it does is like you, you tend to pull your tongue back and then you have this thing going on, which then again closes up the space that's on the inside, which is relevant. You could have an open jaw or have everything blocked like, it's not an open space at all. But what you want is the combination of the larynx position which, you know, if you want more volume, you elongate that just a bit. You don't want to push it. You don't want to sing with a very depressed larynx over long stretches to where it's more than it naturally needs to be because that does a lot of strain to your vocal cords. But at the same time, you really want to focus on shaping the vowels, which we call placement. But um, there's a difference between ah and ah and ah. Oh, so your lips also can also create a little bit of funnel and the tongue position and then further back your throat we call it the throat it's the pharynx you can see it from the side you can see that it moves a little bit here kind of like a frog and that's how i can adjust the space now this is all that we talked about when we talk about placement it's all about where am i sending the sound waves and where am i creating space to make more volume 
or to make it a little bit more narrow. Sometimes we want the more narrow space sound to have a little bit more nasal sound. And sometimes we want the wide open to project. So the more open the space, the more overtones are going to be added, the more you can project outward, which sometimes we want, but sometimes we don't want it. So if you want to have this like really intimate uh, feeling, when I was young, I never needed anyone. And making love was just for fun. Those days are gone. We, we don't want to go, When I was young, I never needed anyone. It's not about, oh, it's not about really projecting a lot. It's, it's about creating a warm color and intimacy, which is the wrong place to try to look for this, oh, this wide open space. Try to experiment with a little bit, but it is important that you always think of a bigger space equals bigger sound. And of course, support, and that all goes into that subglottal compression that does have an effect. But um, the space is really the most relevant part here. If you want to dive deeper, consider joining my online singing school where you can connect with me and other like-minded singers. And I will take you on a journey to discover your voice. You have a great day. Talk to you soon. And until next time, always keep a song in your heart and always keep on singing. Here's an exercise to be more aware of the overtones that you can add as you're opening up the sound. So let's move from an mm, which is not a very closed sound. It is actually just an enclosed space, but there needs to be a space inside. So it's not mm, but it's 